boys. Free agency is starting to get in the swing, boys. We uh we're gonna go over some of the um moves, but you know, with me being a um a Miami Heat fan, this had to come up as topic of the day. Kyle Lowry is coming to South Beach, boys. Now, I'm not going to act like it's the craziest move. You know what I mean? But it's definitely a good one. We're not going to act like that's not an upgrade. I love Drogic, you know. Hooper. It's a Hooper. I like it. Kendrick Nunn. Eh, he ain't. But when the playoffs come, I forget he's on the goddamn team. Now, boys, bringing in Kyle Lowry and also another Heat move. We uh signed Jimmy Butler to the max. So, Butler will be back also. Boys. Yeah, we're doing some things. I'm going to get into that, but let's just run down some other moves real quick. Um, I see the Jazz brung back Conley. I don't know, boys. Um, now, I'm a fan of Michael, uh, uh, Michael Conley. I'm a fan of him. With that team, I'm not so sure because he hasn't really been... I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to say he hasn't been producing because... You know what I mean? But he wasn't there in the playoffs. Last year, he was a part of them, uh, a part of that situation when they lost um, being up 3-1 to the Nuggets in the first round. Also, uh, they might have overpaid just a wee bit for him. I think they could have got some other uh, players that doing just what Conley is doing right now. But Conley's no scrub, so I'm not that mad at that. Hardaway Jr. going back to the Mavs. Of course, he was going to go back. After what he did in the playoffs, he definitely was getting signed back. He was getting signed back. He, he definitely was getting signed back. So, I'm not even surprised about that. And Chris Paul opt out of his contract, but he did sign back. I'm seeing uh, 120 mil. I, I mean, once Westbrook went to uh, went to the Lakers... I think that kind of legit sealed it, even though I don't think he was going to go anywhere anyway. I, I don't think he was going to go anywhere anyway. Like, when you've never been to a um a finals, and then the first time you go there with that group, of course you want to run it back with them. You know what I mean? So, I, I really didn't see him going anywhere, honestly. Like, if it wasn't going to be the Lakers, I didn't see him going nowhere else, truthfully. Because, you know, we could bring up the fact of... um. If I'm going to the Clippers, but I highly doubt it. He was he wanted to go back to there. I highly doubt he wanted to turn back there. But Paul's going back to the Suns. And I'm not too mad. I'm not mad about that because I didn't see him leaving. Like I said, I didn't see him leaving. Lonzo Ball is going to the Chicago Bulls, boys. Okay. This is my thing. I do like that. Him going to the Bulls. They definitely needed a point guard, right? And preferably with having Vucevic being on the team. And Zach Levine being the star on that team. He's the star on that team, boys. Don't come in the comments and say something stupid. You know it's the truth. But um, I like that. Go get a pass first uh, point guard. Go get a pass first point guard. Don't worry about scoring too much. You know they still got the Kobe kid. He's not really doing much right now. But that doesn't mean that he can't become something with it, right? But I like that. But, boys, I want to go back to my heat real quick. Um, If I'm not mistaken, my boy was telling me, uh, my boy at um, Giving You Sports from my point of view, go subscribe to him. He gave me the heads up or whatever about Duncan Robinson coming back. I love it. I love it. Shoot the lights off the gym. We, you know, we kind of went through a little thing. And I still feel like, okay, I'm going to say this about, about my heat. I'm going to say this. I think two things happened. I think they were a little restless from that um finals run, as was the Lakers, too, when you really look at it. I think both of them was like a little restless from being in that bubble. And then remember, this is the shortest offseason these players ever received. You know what I'm saying? And also, I think we won a little early. That might sound weird to some of y'all, but I think we won too early with those young guys. And what I mean by winning too early is that they almost thought like it was a given that they were just going to storm through shit and be right back at the finals. That's not how that works. They know that's how it works. Forget about even being at a professional level. At any level, it does not work like that. You're not just going to steamroll the competition because after you did that, the target is there and everybody is gunning for you now. So you have to prepare for it. 
We know how this goes, boys. But the Lowry, like I said, we got a um a champion uh at the point guard now. He can move the ball floor general. He can knock down the threes that we're going to need him to knock down when he's open. He plays defense. He's a dog. Obviously, he's from Philadelphia. Duh. But anyway, y'all uh, y'all let me know how y'all think about this, man, because I love this move. And then bring it back, Jimmy Butler. You know, Bam's still there. Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson. I, I, I'm liking this. And then, oh, I'm, I think we might still... What's going on with the Ola Depot situation? Somebody um tell me about that. Now, if Ola Depot's coming back too, this is this is this is good. This is this is this is very good. Could you imagine that lineup if you have um Lowry, Ola Depot, Butler? Um I, I gotta see what we run at the four, but then we'll have Bam. And I also think they need to start playing the kid Precious just a little bit more. The uh, the Chua kid, the one from Memphis. I think we play him a little bit more. He seems like he's an energetic little rebounding type of guy we can have. I say give him some burn, man. See what he can do. Tyler Hero, I think he's going to bounce back this year. I don't think he's going to have the mishaps that he had. Um, Duncan Robinson, we know he shoot the lights out the gym. That's just what he does. And um, y'all let me know, boys. We'll keep it. We'll keep mingling with this free agency situation as it goes along. And y'all know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. And like I say, always share. If you're not really interested what's going on in here, maybe one of your peoples is. Maybe they like what I'm doing over here. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know how it is, boys. Until next time. Because <laughs> I'm out.